Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest and triceps again. This time I tried to do most of my exercises with a cable setup. So let's try that. Let's see how effective it will be if not using free weights. So straight away I started with the greatest stretch. Five repetitions each side as usual dedicating that minute or two to unlock our body's mobility before we start working out. Now make sure that you perform any kind of dynamic stretches. If you don't like this particular stretch for any reason, you may definitely choose to do anything else, any other dynamic stretches if you prefer, if you have a favorite, it's absolutely okay. But make sure you do the dynamic stretching at least for 5 minutes pre-workout. Post completing my greatest stretch, I moved on to my mandatory deep squat for the day. I make sure I squat deep at least once or twice in the day just to ensure the mobility in my hips because most of us are sitting for too long or standing for too long. So this helps us to take our hip joint to complete range of motion at least once in the day. Post completing that I moved on to my warm up exercise which is also going to be a working sets. I have basically set up the bench in front or in between the cable crossover machine and started doing bench press using the cables as you can see how i set it up and my favorite height just one increment of incline not absolutely flat or not about 45 degrees incline just in between where i prefer to do my bench presses where i get maximum activation for my chest muscles so here the setup is pretty simple pretty clean you set it up in such a way that you're able to push your arms across your body while keeping the cable always in line with your elbows. Never letting your cable completely, you know, either go completely down or come completely up. Just always in line with your elbows. Now for my working sets, I have done 5 sets with 10 repetitions. I did a warm up for 2 sets. Then I moved on to my working sets wherein I started loading weight. Now every repetition should feel the same and look the same like I can see in the video. Every time I press it, I make sure I get the equal amount of contraction and stretch. The benefit of doing bench press on a cable setup is that there's a constant pull. The cable is constantly pulling your arms down while you're trying to create that adduction movement with your chest muscle. Now with dumbbells, when you go on the topmost point, that's end, there is no more pressure. But here the cable is constantly pulling you down. So you have to always work against the cable to get your hands across. And also you have more room for your arms to move across, bring them across your body, which I feel gives me a better contraction in my chest muscles. Now keeping your legs down, legs up is absolutely a choice of comfort. I like to, I like to keep my legs up. There is no weight which I have to drive really hard. It's just a cable so I can keep my legs up and focus on the contractions. One of the most important part is to make sure that you put on a challenging weight, not very heavy that you're unable to pull it through or not too light that it's very simple to push your arms together. Always try to get your elbows together. That's the anatomical cue. When you try to get your elbows together, you get a maximum contraction in your chest. For my last set, I was able to get six to seven repetitions. Then I used the rest pause technique and got another two repetitions out of it. And that was an amazing chest workout with the cables alone. Now post that, I immediately switched the bench onto one side and used it to do overhead cable extensions. Basically sit down use a rope attachment and start doing tricep extensions. So pretty easy setup as you can see nothing extraordinary. You sit on a bench, take the cable behind your back and from there do the tricep overhead extensions. Now I'm using rope extension because I try, I with the rope I'm able to get my wrist involvement basically extend my wrist also. If it's a fixed attachment I can't do that but with a rope I can do that wrist extension as you can see in the video. I have done 4 sets of these with 12 repetitions. Again challenging weight, nothing so heavy that you are unable to pull it through. We want a complete range of motion. We want complete activation of our triceps while also stretching them at the lowest point. 
pretty easy exercise you uh, would not be you know doing anything wrong if you set it up right make sure that the cable attachment which you are using gives you enough amount of room to get full range of motion post completing that i moved on to body weight exercise push ups i've done three sets 12 repetitions now with push ups as i always advise take a stance wherein your elbows stay close to your body and you are able to push yourself effectively and as strongly as possible off the floor try to squeeze your glutes in between sets if you feel that you know your glutes are falling down if you squeeze your glutes your body will stay in a straight line and from there always try to touch your nose on the floor and then come back up now for the last few repetitions you can also hold down to create that isolation and then push up post completing my three sets of push up i moved again back to the cable machine wherein i have done tricep push downs now like unlike the regular push downs wherein you use a rope attachment here you can go way far beyond you can get your elbows extended really a lot because of the range of motion it uh, it is making you or you are able to go through the range of motion a lot more because there is no restriction because at a cable attachment you get restricted at your legs and at your head but here you can push it as far behind as possible leaning forward a little bit helps in terms of getting that extra range of motion as you can see in this side view how i set myself up there is no obstruction at my head there is no obstruction at my legs so it is pretty easy for me to go through the range of motion now if the cable machine is busy and it's not and both the attachments are not available to you you can definitely do the regular cable push downs it's absolutely fine the effectiveness of the exercise remains the same post completing this i moved on to my standing calf raises now again the technique which i use is the one which i have been using lately 4 second hold for the contraction and for the stretch point making sure i completely eliminate the involvement of my tendons in this movement only working with my calf muscles as you push up hold there for 4 seconds as you go down hold there for 4 seconds as you can see i sped up the video a little bit because if you do this absolutely with 4 seconds every repetition this one set might take you more than a minute maybe up to 90 seconds so i sped up the video otherwise it's pretty uh, easy to do you can also do it loaded you can load it by standing under a smith machine or if you have a standing calf raise machine at your gym lucky you you can do that on that too pretty easy exercise make sure you push your heels as far up as possible and then go down as low as possible and keep your knees always locked out post completing my calf exercises i moved on to my core exercise which is holding on to a plank with a bosu ball under my elbows the reason why i always chose to have the bosu ball is because firstly i'm very comfortable with the ball it's uh, it gives me a cushioning effect while it is extremely unstable wherein i have to uh, you know stabilize myself a lot more but at the same time it's comfortable it's easy on my shoulders and my elbows so i prefer to do this and i'm able to do one minute easily so sorry not easily it's it is challenging but at least i'm able to do it uh, i'm able to finish my minute without much of a uh, discomfort so i chose to do it or will continue to do it in this manner or raise it up later in terms of challenging myself post completing the plank i moved on to my static stretches wherein for the first stretch i used the light weight pvc pipe to stretch out my chest muscles cre basically creating an abduction take it in both your arms completely stretched out and push it behind your head and let your arms go back as far behind as possible creating that stretch on your chest muscles now hold there for 10 to 15 seconds bring it back up and go again for second or third time the reason why i do this couple of times or three times is to ensure that you know both my chest muscles have been stretched properly create that static stretch effect after all the contraction and also release my shoulders of any tension which i might have built up during all the pushing movements you may choose to do 
uh, the other static stretch also which I have shown earlier wherein you stand in a corner and push yourself a little bit forward by placing your elbows on the either side of the corners. Post completing my chest stretch I moved on to my tricep stretch. Again pretty simple stretch place your elbows on a flat bench and drop your head in between and pull yourself a little bit behind creating that stretch on your lats and on your triceps. Keeping your elbows bent gives you that extra bit of room of stretching for your triceps. If you straighten it out, your triceps get relaxed or actually contracted. So difficult to stretch there. So if you straighten it, if you keep it bent, you get more room for stretching. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did like the video, please drop a like. If haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Thank you.